Welcome back, beautiful people! Guys, today I want to talk to you about Novra. Oh this gosh. nightmare esotericist epic because I need to be honest with you guys, it's one, if not the best epic for absolutely nothing. <laughs> but I super enjoy his skin, it's so cool to look, his graphic is amazing, his cinematic is awesome, and this is one of the reasons why you like to play with the guy, even if he's not one of the best. Look, I wait to make this last promotion so that you can see his cinematics. Awesome. <laughs> Guys, is not this amazing? Super cool. This dude, just for his skin, is amazing. Here, no review. I will review him later. Now is not the time. Now, I put on him some gear, some random one that I have around. I just put these two sets. This first one, uh, uh, Wicked Vengeance. Crit damage plus 40, attack plus 10%. Soft stats, very awful. Nothing really too strong. So even if those are quite uh, end, end to mid game type of gear, they are not the best. Angel Vrat here on the other side. And the bundle, actually, it's quick rate because I cannot reach 100% with Aret. And then we have two attack bonuses. Would it be the best to have also a crick damage instead of the crick rate? But, as I said, I, I don't have good gear and it's not good to waste good gear on this dude. It's not really good, honestly. I must tell you this right out of the bat. Now, his skills... On the paper, they look so cool and very awesome. Basic attack, deal 110% damage to an enemy. When killing an enemy, deals 110% AoE damage. So if you fight this low armor type of small unit, Skeletor or these crappy dudes, he's going to kill them and then he's going to also make 110% AoE damage. Plus, his auto will summon a Scarecrow that will explode in, uh, on contact every three basic attack. Dealing 165% AoE damage. So the synergy between this and the basic attack, it's amazing. His ultimate, it's so good, the cinematic on this. Summon a Spirit Raven to attack random target in range. Each Raven deals 17% magic damage, lasts for 12 seconds. So it's quite short, don't last that long. But it's, it's quite cheap, so you can rotate this one quite often. And the cinematic of this, it's amazing. Now, his uh, range, as you can see, quite normal for uh, more or less, it's, uh, it's nothing too special. His attack, 3600, not too high, but we play with uh, other epic that even have worse than that, and they are quite useful. Cost 18, it's okay. Attack interval 2.2, but I think because there is this extra 50%, 50 speed, sorry, let me check here on gear, his attack interval, the basic, actually 2.6, it's 2.6, I, I add 50 speed, so I got down to 2.2, not that I was looking for speed, only 50, but this is what we got, Awakening, we have a wicked one, Spirit Raven gains an additional 20% crit rate. So in his ulti, if you cannot reach 100% through your gear, you got an extra 20 here that can boost his at least his ultimate, even if it don't last that long. A wicked two, crit damage plus 15%. A wicked three, expand explosion range of straw minions. This is also good. Extra range means extra uh, units that will get damage. Not too bad. Now, I will get four. Uh, Rage Regen, Auto, plus one. This is also good. His uh, ultimate already is quite cheap. With that, even better. I will get five. Uh, Spirit Raven damage plus 20%. So, if you are short in damage or uh, crit rate, you're going to get an extra 20 for both. All this kit, everything here, scream damage. Very good and strong damage. The problem is, guys, his multiplier are awful there is something is in his <laughs> output damage that really make him not the best hero anywhere where we can use him where is the best place to use him really i cannot really imagine awesome place to really use him one place that i would like to show him it's here guys in uh, gear let's go play one gear 
just to make you understand the type of damage that, that he can put out. So, I think... Yeah, gear, even if gear is one of the worst places to use him, any gear for him is quite bad. But let me try him on gear raid 1. I think it's where I can show you what type of damage he can put out. As, and put him, him as the first one. So he will have the best time to do it. There I have my Abizu. Lately get. Where is my Nora? Where is, where is? Let me take out. I shall be waiting to collect Gamet, and where are you? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Okay, where so let's keys? try him. I will put, I will not use Brad to give him the extra Lord skills, but I will use Dolores 10% attack to give him some extra boost there too. So I will put him, I think, on top. Now let me try. I will put him as first, so you will see, guys, how much damage that he can put at the end. Then I put Dolores to give some damage here in the back. In the back, sorry. And now, I think I show you his uh, ultimate. A very good thing to look, guys, it's look his ultimate, how cool it is, and look the range of his ultimate. This is what makes him special. This type of range meaning something. Meaning can be useful something. So, now I will do the fight. And at the end we are going to see how much damage he can put out. Even if I already know we will be that much. guys here we are finish the boss fortunately i forgot to switch off the power of dominance because look in the wall i think i would not be able to do it without that <laughs> but anyway we are here just to make you see the damage that he can put out i remind you he was the first one that i put out i put down so as you can see my verna is the best of course she's the first legendary that I have in my account, then Abizu make a very awesome damage. And he, considering that he was the first one down, 50 million, almost a little bit more than Nyx, but Nyx was the last one that I put. But this is just to show you guys, those are my two strongest. Hits okay, but nothing really special. You cannot say, I want, I want to build him because he will make the difference. Not just in gear 1, in any gear, he will not be really useful. But the best place that you can use him, thanks to his range, guys, 100%. Not for like end game, but for progression. If you are a beginner, it's super cool to have him in campaign and in uh, Void Rift. It's the best places where I think you can take out the best from him. Like that range that where during the ultimate i'm talking about that range that during the ulti opening that type of circle in rows it's so awesome and can really be useful let me check something here in campaign campaign 9 for sure he will not be good because he's not the strong but let me random some campaign maybe here six let me maybe this one let me check okay this map is perfect i will show you here how can be awesome and good to use this guy thanks to his ultimate now where you are there i will use him uh, wait take out sectron yeah i think i will take out sectron i use him not that i will use anybody else i just want to use him to make you see what he can do maybe i use ola and nalo for the rage region now, let me put him here. I think he's the best place. Look his range. Now, with this type of very low armored type of unit, I think he's very good. And as soon as the guy comes from the back, I think his ultimate will get him without problem. And look how awesome it will be. See? You can get this 
Now, actually, there is only one, so you cannot really have a, a very good understanding. Look how good is this range. So there are so many scenarios in campaign and in void rift that really gonna make this dude quite nice to play with. And he's going to be an okay one to progress, to progress, especially in the beginning, but not very good in end game, guys. But look at that. Let me try this ultimate with more people so that you will understand quite better how cool it is. Hello. I need a mobilator, but look, let me do the ulti. Now hollow. And look how cool. Look, look this ulti. It's amazing. The the cinematic, the sound, all the effect that you see when you use this ulti make you want to play with this guy even if he's not one of the best in the game. Actually, it's really, really average. So let me do it again with more people if it's possible. Okay, look look at this. Look how nice. Now you're gonna get the one in top, the one in back, and then the one in the down. It's amazing. These guys is what make you want to play with this dude. Because he's so enjoyable to play. But he's not useful anywhere. So guys, the conclusion is, you need this guy? No. He's good? Not really. But you will try to find ways, and you will try to convince yourself that he's good to play with him because it's super enjoyable to play these guys actually those type of hero are the one that make this type of game so good you just like to play with something and this it's one of the epic that you would like to play even if it's not really useful anywhere so this is what at least i think about the guy if you like the video guys thumbs up if you want to subscribe super ultra mega appreciated see you next time bye